options for much less than market price. Uh, that's always a nifty thing to be able to do. And you do that by buying spreads, option spreads. Uh, what you do is you buy an option that you want, then you also write a less expensive option on the same stock. Uh, so what you're doing is you got both options on the same stock with the same expiration, uh, same type of options, you know, two calls, two puts, but you're lowering your cost because the option that you're writing offsets the cost of the option that you bought. Uh, so again, you've got a, a, a dual transaction here. What you're doing is, let's say, you're, you're, you're buying one option for $5, and then you're selling another option on the same stock for $3, so your net cost is only $2. Uh, and you can do that consistently to bring down uh, your cost of going into a position. Uh, and it lowers the risk, too, because the option that you're buying is covering the option that you write. In other words, uh, if uh, you sell, let's say, a call, and somebody exercises that call, and you've got to sell them stock, well, where do you get that stock from? You don't want to have to go out and buy it on the open market, which may be, you know, at a very high current price. Then what you can do is exercise the call that you bought, you know, and get the stocks from somebody else to sell it. <laughs> to the person that's exercising, exercising a call against you. Uh, so you're covering your risk that way. Now the one limitation to using spreads is that you're capping your potential profit. Using a spread is the difference between the strike prices of the two options. So in other words, if let's say you um, buy a, uh, a call, uh, you know, a stock is $50, $50 strike price, and you sell a call with a $60 strike price. Uh, the maximum you could possibly make is the $10 difference between the two. That's because um, if they exercise a call against you, uh, it's for 60, you can exercise yours for 50. The difference is what you get to keep. However, this can exceed 100% return on investment. So if that was just a small profit that was left, it might not be interesting. But I, I, I can sell for a profit of 100% or more. Uh, here's an example. Uh, OEX, that's the S&P uh, 100 index. Okay, that was at 633.36 on April 2nd. And if you wanted to get a July 2008 uh, put with a 620 strike price, that was going for 25.10 for one contract, which is really high. That means you have to spend $2,510 just to buy one single option contract on that. A lot of money. But if you look at the pricing tables, you also see that the July 2008 560 put is asking 970. So you can use these two things to set up a spread. What you do is you buy your 620 put and at the same time write a 560 put. Oh, and just a little word of advice is be sure to place a spread order with your broker. Uh, that's where you identify the fact that you're taking these two option positions as a spread. You'll actually save commission on that. Uh, most good brokers will charge less money for executing a spread order uh, than for executing two separate transactions. Um, and uh, it also means that the order can't be considered as filled until both legs of the transaction are actually done. Uh, if you look at the websites on your brokers, uh, generally there is an option for complex uh, trades such as spreads. Uh, okay, so let, let's get back to it. What's your cost? Your cost is what you're spending for the 620 put, that's 2510, less what you're getting for selling the 970 put. So it only nets out to 1540. So instead of spending $2,510, you're only spending $1,540. It's a considerable saving uh, in cost. Now, you're going to profit if OEX closes below 604.60. What this is is the 620 strike price. That's what you could get by exercising the put that you bought. 
less than 1540, which is the cost of the spread, the cost of your position. Um, if the maximum profit you could get, if OEF closes below 560, uh, then you're making $60, which is the difference between what you what you spent for the 620 put and what you're getting for writing the 560 put. And that $60 difference is a 390% profit. Okay? I'll take 390% profit any time. That's a pretty good deal.